I would do about hydraulic fittings. It's just kind of an interesting little thing about being a heavy duty mechanic. Uh, you do a lot of hydraulics and you need a lot of just different random fittings. And there's a lot of different stuff. So I just figured I would show some of the most common examples. And this is not nearly any of the endless hundreds of different kinds of fittings. This is just some stuff I grabbed and the most common. So the most common is probably JIC, which is, this is a JIC female, and then this would be a JIC male. So it's standard threads, and this has a 37 degree taper. Um, some places call it 37 degree flare, but it's most commonly known as JIC, it's the same thing. They do make another one that's very similar, but it's got a 45 degree flare, and that's lower pressure, that's for like, um, they use it on cars and automotive and it's for like fuel and stuff where it's not as high pressure. So there's uh, the matching taper, I don't know if you can see that, but it's in there and then these don't use any kind of o-ring or anything and you don't need any kind of thread sealant or anything. So like this is a good example, this is pipe. So pipe you can use for, um, uh, you can use pipe for hydraulics too. You don't want to use like black iron pipe because it can't hold the pressure, but there are fittings like this one that's pipe threads. The threads are identical to water pipe, and that you would have to use like thread sealant or something. So good example, pipe to JIC female, and then probably after JIC, the most common would be what they call O-ring face, which um, most equipment manufacturers use. So this is, it's the same kind of, it's standard threads also, and then it has an O-ring here, and then here would be O-ring face female, these two are different sizes, but it's the same, it's the same style. So it's a flat face, there's no anything here, as where like this JIC has a taper in here that matches the uh, 45, or the 37, matches the 37. So then this, there's a flat face, and then, um, I don't think I have the, the same size, but it basically, this flat face, it seals against that O-ring and then you tighten it down. So this O-ring can fail, and you have to replace that. And then you would have what would they call O-ring boss, or Cat calls it store boss. But these threads are identical to JIC, except they cut the, the 45, or the, the 37 degree flare is not on here. The threads are identical, and they add an O-ring. So the O-ring is where it seals instead of the uh, flare. So then here's another example of one, this is what they call o-ring boss to o-ring face and it's a bulkhead so it's got a nut so like you can put like a bracket you put it through a bracket for like a quick coupler or something and then here is going to be what they call boss to boss so it's basically the same this one the o there's just not an o-ring on here but it's it's o-ring boss to o-ring boss so if you have to do a coupler or something like that and then here's one that's um it's flat face or o-ring face to o-ring boss, just different stuff there. And then you have uh, fl uh, flange fitting. So here's, there's three different kinds and then here's an, a different, this is a cap, but I'll get to that in a minute. So there's, there's basically, there's four different kinds of uh, what they call flange fittings. There's code 61, which is what this is. There's code 62, which is what this one is, and then there's what's called cat flange, which this is just a plug, but it's the same idea. Let me just get this out really quick. They call it cat flange. So cat flange, which you would think they only use on Caterpillar equipment, but the flanges are thicker, and they also use a square O-ring, as where the rest of them use round O-rings. Um, Komatsu 2 has something very similar to this. It's very similar to Code 61, but it, I'm not exactly sure, but it's Komatsu specific. But Cat Flange is basically a Code 62. The, d the dimensions are all the same, except for the it uses a square O-ring, and then the C face, which is this, is actually thicker on the Cat Flange. And then, like here's one that's Code 61 to JIC, and then you could, the way you can tell is see the thickness of the flange. So the thicker the flange, the thick flange is the code 60, um, is the code 62, and the thinner flange is the code 61. Uh, I got some links that I'll put in the description of, about, there's two good articles about different flange O-rings, 
and I think there's gonna be like a Parker book about all the different, it's like 500 pages of just different kinds of fittings. So we'll get back to this one. So this one is code 61 flange to um, JIC. And the way that it works is you use these, there's two different styles. These are called split clamp where they're split at a 45 or they make them where they're, I don't have an example of them, but they make them where they're split, they're split this way instead of at the 45. And then the way that it works is these are round O-rings and they just go right in there like that and then you would use four bolts. So here's the cap flange. This is a cap and a plug for like capping a hose off, but this is a perfect example of how it works. And then you would just basically, instead of a plug, you could put the hose in here and then you would just put the clamps around it and you would just tighten it down. So I just figured this is, this is just a small example of, I have drawers of, of uh, hydraulic fittings because anytime you do anything custom hydraulics, there's always, you need that one little fitting that you don't have or you gotta find it or something. But this is just a very small example and, and it's a very neat little thing about being a heavy duty mechanic that I figured I would share.